Sorry, we're in the bathroom. That was dirty clothes before you didn't even really see that. I didn't even have to explain that, but I did. Anyways, I wanted to bring you very quickly some companies you can go through to have your documents expedited and other ways you can save money. So for the FBI criminal record check, um, to get it done, you need two fingerprint cards. Two because one might be not might not be good enough. So you need the second one just in case. So you need two fingerprint cards and you need to fill out the form that they're going to give you to fill out. So um, check with your police station, local police station in your city to see if you get free fingerprints, which I did. And so I got four done there. So it saved me $50, guys, $50, that's a lot of money. So it saved me $50 for those two Card. So for the FBI criminal record check, um, you go through myfbireport.com and um, there it was like $53.95 for one copy. But the great thing about this company that I think you will also like is that it's only an, an additional $9 if you want another copy. So you don't have to pay another whole like $54 for um, two copies, which you would have to do with other companies. If you get two, you have to pay the full price for both and that's ridiculous so I think that's great so yeah go with them and then of course you have to do the um, shipping the shipping you know makes time difference you know makes it mm, makes a difference on the timeline of how fast you get it back um, but the reason why actually I like this company better than the other company as I saw is that this one actually processes your information the day they get it so that's a huge plus and so it only takes like three days really because they got it they processed it the day they got it um, no actually yeah they processed it, they got it and then they sent it back and I did the two to three day shipping so I got it back two to three days later <laughs> so yeah not not bad not bad at all so a week a week's time and then for the ABBA still for the FBI check, you don't need to get anything notarized for the FBI criminal record check, so don't make that mistake and I shouldn't do that. Um, I use, well, the, the first one I use is called usauthentications.com, um, but they're actually more expensive. <laughs> they're $10 more expensive than uslegalization.com. So I'm going to put both down there just in case. I don't know why. You might, you may want to go through them. I don't know. It really depends. Some people like the look of one website over the other. Some people just like having choices when they do things. So if you don't mind the 10 extra dollars, you can go ahead and go with US Authentications over US Legalization. That's up to you, not me. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, and then that one, um, with like all of them, you have to do a return envelope in the other envelope. So don't forget that. Very important. Or you won't get your documents back. And you'll waste money. We don't want that. Okay. So your diploma. For your diploma, still you have to get your diploma copied, which you can do yourself. We're at the public library. I did it at the public library. And I also did it at home because I thought maybe like the copy at the public library, you know, would be better, but it didn't really matter. They, you know, actually the one at home cut off some of the little emblems, but it looked nicer. So I just went with that one. Um, when you're getting it notarized, you have to write a statement saying like, I, here's my statement, I, Rain Curry, got my, uh, received my Bachelor's of Arts and Theater Arts from the University of Texas at Arlington, and I signed my name. Sorry, she is so talkative right now. I hope you can hear me well. And, um, so I wrote that statement. Then the guy who notarized it does his stamp that has where he fills in the date and then he has to he had to sign it so make sure your person signs it because I went to the Secretary of State um, in 2014 and they told me that the person had done it incorrectly because it was not signed by the notary and I'm like oh my gosh I gotta pay another like 12 bucks at FedEx because of that and I didn't think that was too fair okay so and for the diploma after you get that done then you're just sending the diploma off to be um, Apostille. That's all that needs to happen. You don't have to like do anything else special or send it to a different agency like you do with the criminal record check. So for the diploma Apostille, it took three to five days um, and I used U.S. No, no, no. Um, I put U.S. Authentications with 65 
um, and they include the notary, but don't go through them for that. I believe I used, no, this time I actually went straight through the Secretary of State. So I didn't expedite it this time. But the first time I went through usauthentications.com and that was $65. Now you can go through that if you need it expedited. But I'm going to tell you, it only takes two weeks with the Secretary of State. So Whoa, you scared me. Don't do that, girl. <laughs> it only takes um, 10 uh, business days. So really great, um, really fast. In my opinion, two weeks is nothing in this whole waiting game of Korea. So if you want to save that money, it only costs $15. And then you just have to do your self-addressed envelope and, you know, pay for that, the shipping there and stuff. So that, that can save you money right there. Um, so that's one of the ways to save money, by the way. <laughs> oh, I put regular diploma out of still. Um, if you do the FBI app still, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not go through the secretary, I mean the Department of State, unless you have lots of time. Because on their website, it says um, five to seven business days. But when I spoke to the guy on the phone because I wanted to double check, he was like, no, that's actually incorrect. It's more like... What did he say? He said five to eight weeks. Weeks, guys. <laughs> five to eight weeks. That's too much. That's too months. That's too much time, you know, waiting. You know, that's, you know, ridiculous. And the website tells you something totally different. They're like, he was like, no, that's like when, that's how long it takes us to kind of get it to our desk. And it takes us like two months to process it. I was like, what kind of mess is that? Um, yeah, so don't do that. I know it's $8 and you're like, oh, but it's only $8. I need to save the money. You know, if you can borrow the money from someone, you know, tell them you're paying back later when you get to Korea, which I did to some people. I'm like, let me pay back later. I'll pay back later. Just let me borrow this money so I can get the stuff done. And we cool. We are cool. You know, we did that thing. I paid them back. I got some people who still pay back right now for this time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh... Yeah, actually, I think that's pretty much it. Those are the ways the ways to save money is to send your documents through the regular way, straight to the Department of State with the FBI um, apostille and straight to the Secretary of State for your diploma apostille. And that's really, you know, the really important documents that you need. And of course, you have to graduate first. <laughs> um, one thing I want to tell you about your diploma, if you're waiting on it from your school and for some reason they tell you you have to wait like eight weeks, try to email your principal because that's what I did. I emailed my principal and he was actually a new principal too and I was really surprised he responded back to me the same day and he was just like, I'll make sure that gets done and then someone emailed me that same evening and was like, hey, the principal told me to get this done for you so you can come pick it up tomorrow <laughs> like seriously it was so awesome so if they tell you that just tell them your principal you know send a nice email say hey you know I, I have this job in Korea I got but if I don't hurry up and get it I can't take it at this time and that will push me back uh, uh you know six months and that will make me waste money so you know make sure you explain that because a lot of universities are very understanding and they've done it before. And they say they've never done it, but they do do it. They do do it. They're able to rush it. Believe me, I know this for a fact. They're able to rush it. Don't let them tell you otherwise. I mean, well, you can let them tell you, but then you can tell them, I know you're able to do this. So guys, I hope that was very helpful. I hope you're able to understand me because Lily over here. And until next time, annyeong.